Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by Ian Talk. As always, I'm your host Ian, and it's been a while that I've made a top 10 content. And thus, in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 Korean movies that were released in 2023 based on their box office numbers. The criteria of today's list will be based on the list of top movies from the Korean Film Council, which provides the data of K-movies such as domestic box office and total grossing numbers. Please remember the number of sales and box office records were all based on the Korean market and is factual data, not my personal preferences. Okay then, that being said, let's get right into the reveal of the top 10 Korean movies by their box office records in 2023. First, the number 10 movie was the rom-com that was released in August of last year, Honey Sweet. Directed by Lee Han, who also directed A Melody to Remember and Innocent Witness, Honey Sweet was full of comedic and heart-fluttering moments, starring the likes of Yoo Jin, Kim Hee-sun, Cha In-pyo, Jin Seon-gyu, Han son hwa and Jung da eun the movie recorded 1.3 million at the box office and raked in a total of 13 billion Korean won, or roughly 10 million USD. At number 9 was the film released in September, Sleep. Directed by Yoo jae Sun, who had his directorial debut with this movie, Sleep was a mystery thriller that keeps you wondering and at the edge of your seat. This film is especially meaningful as it was the last movie that was released in which the late Lee Sun Gyun starred in before passing. Rest in peace to Lee Sun Gyun. The film also starred Jung Yoo Mi and recorded 1.47 million at the box office, resulting in a total of about 13.8 billion KRW, or roughly 10.5 million USD. At number 8 was the earliest release movie of the list, The Point Man. Starring Hwang Jung Min, Hyun Bin, and Kang Gi Young, this action drama was directed by Im Sun Ne, who also famously directed Little Forest and Forever the Moment. The narrative revolved around the hostage situation and didn't take itself too seriously. The movie recorded 1.72 million at the box office, making a total of about 17.5 billion KRW, equaling about 13 million USD. Coming in at number 7 was a September release movie, Dr. Chun and the Lost Talisman. This film was directed by Kim Sung Sik, who made his directorial debut with this film and was a fantasy flick. The movie starred Kang Dong Won, Ho Jun Ho, Lee Song, Lee Dong Hee, and Kim Jong Soo, and was able to bring in 1.9 million people to the theaters, raking in a total of 18.6 billion KRW, or 14 million USD. At number 6 was another rom-com that released in October of last year, 30 Days, aka Love Reset. 30 Days was directed by Nam Dae Jung, who also did The Last Ride and starred Kang Ah Neul, Jung So Min, Cho Min Soo, and Kim Seon Young. I loved how light and comedic this film was as it takes a topic that's seen in a lot of other movies but puts its own flavor to it. The movie recorded 2.16 million at the box office, totaling a sale of 21 billion Korean won. The USD equivalent is about 16 million. Before moving into the top 5, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to ExpressVPN. If you would like to access more Korean movies through streaming services, I highly suggest using ExpressVPN to connect to servers from other locations to gain access to thousands of more content. By using ExpressVPN, you can bypass geo restrictions, meaning you can be from anywhere around the world and access the Korean and other country servers. If you would like to access more Korean content like movies, dramas, and shows, be sure to sign up for ExpressVPN using my link in the descriptions or expressvpn.com slash iantalk and get 49% off an annual plan plus 3 extra months for free. Better yet, if you sign up and don't like the service, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning you can cancel anytime within the first 30 days. And now, the top 5. The number 5 top K movie of 2023 by box office record was the most recently released film on this list, Noryang Deadly Sea. Noryang Deadly Sea was directed by Kim An Min, who also directed the other two films in this series, The Admiral, Roaring Currents, and Han San, Rising Dragon. Noryang marked the final film to the Lee Sun Shin trilogy that director Kim worked on, and the final actor that portrayed Admiral Lee Sun Shin in Noryang was Kim Yun Seok. 
This historical drama was full of at sea action and also saw the likes of Pei Yun Chik, Jung Jae Young, and Ho Jun Ho in the film. Although the film only released in late December, it was still able to take a top 5 spot, recording 3.4 million at the domestic box office. Moreover, it was able to amass 34 billion Korean won, or about 26 million USD. Going into the number 4 spot, the number 4 film on the list of top Korean movies in terms of box office record is the drama film Concrete Utopia. Contrary to its title, Concrete Utopia was a dystopian film taking place after an unknown disaster that struck Seoul, Korea. Directed by Om tae -wa, the director behind Vanishing Time, A Boy Who Returned, this highly thought-provoking drama film starred veteran actors Lee byung hun Park So-jun, and Park Bo-young. The movie raises some moral questions which makes the audience contemplate on what they would do in the shoes of the characters. Recording 3.8 million at the box office, the film made 37.4 billion Korean won or 28.5 million USD. The third highest recorded box office movie out of South Korean cinema of 2023 was the summer release film Smugglers. Being directed by one of the most well-known directors of Korean cinema, Ryu Seung Wan, who also did the likes of Veteran and The Unjust, Smugglers was a crime film as you could probably guess from his title and starred Kim Hae Soo, Yeom Jung Ah, Cho In Sung, Park Jung Min, Kim Jong Soo, and Ko Min Si. Like a lot of director Ryu's other works, the film doesn't take itself too seriously when it comes to the crime genre but rather offers some humorous elements to it as well. The film tallied 5.1 million at the box office, making 49.6 billion Korean won, equaling about 38 million USD. And now only two movies left. Which movie came second to the highest box office K movie of 2023? The number two spot goes to the third film in the Outlaws series, The Roundup No Way Out. The Roundup No Way Out was a sequel to the 2022 release film The Roundup and is the third film of the Outlaws series where Ma Dong Seok aka Don Lee fights crime. Being directed by Lee Sang Yong, this crime action also saw the likes of Lee Jun Yuk and Aoki Munetaka and was the first film of only two that passed the 10 million box office mark in 2023, recording 10.68 million. With this massive box office reach, the film amassed 104 billion Korean won or about 80 million USD. And finally, the number one top Korean movie of 2023 based on box office records. Which Korean movie drew in the most crowd and made the most money in the Korean market in 2023? The number one movie goes to the drama film that was released in the latter half of 2023, 1212 The Day. 1212 The Day was directed by Kim Song Soo, who's responsible for other movies such as Azura and The Flu. And what's amazing is that, as mentioned before, the movie was released in the latter half of the year, more specifically November. The film is still in theaters as we speak, meaning it's still increasing in its box office number. Starring Hwang Jung Min, Jung Woo Sung, Lee Sung Min, Park Hye Jun, and Kim Sung Yoon, this was definitely the biggest hit of the year as evident by its whopping 11.8 million ongoing box office record. It was able to do so well as it provoked some emotional tension in the Korean audience. Because the movie revolves around a politically and historically sensitive topic, it was able to really draw in the emotions of the Korean moviegoers. The film made 115 billion Korean won to this day, or about 88 million USD. And that's it for today's video on the highest box office Korean movies of 2023. If you enjoyed this video and would like more similar content, be sure to like and subscribe, and be sure to sign up for ExpressVPN using my link to access more Korean movies and dramas. Once again, thank you to everyone that watched till the end, and I'll see you guys in the next one.